Okay, today we're talking about, what do people like to say on the internet? You're stupid. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Go on. Uh, you're going to get banned off of Facebook. Uh, can't talk about that. Look, uh, we hear a lot is you're going to get somebody killed. And what we will ask our young teens is when we start introducing gun defenses. Elementary school, we teach basic gun safety and not to be playing with a gun. Um, but as soon as I get into that middle school range, I really feel like it's a good opportunity for them to start to learn gun. I feel like the way the world is, it's great. And I've been doing that this for years and years. And you know, hopefully we're keeping people safer. But one thing people say, you're gonna get somebody killed. Look, we're not racing the trigger pull. Nobody's faster than that, right? We're racing the decision to pull the trigger. But today we're really talking about redirecting line of fire off the shortest point. Look, if they're in the middle, I can go for either hand, right? Either hand. But what I want you guys working on this month is thinking about gun from the front, standard, boom, and gun from the front, two-handed cupping, boom, here. Boom, both taking myself out of the line of fire, right, in there. Oh, and there was also a great uh, comment that I saw on uh, a good channel, Hard to Hurt. It said, every problem a guy hits, I forgot I should have done that right there. Uh, look, we're always teaching get away and get out of here, Rocky Mountain Self-Defense and Fitness. Uh, I know who you're talking about, though. Uh, I know the big culprit for that one that always throws those gun hits. I'm always trying to disengage and maybe access my own weapon, assess. Once I've beaten them, I'm not really looking to hit them again. Are you? Yeah, you are. So you always want to hit somebody again. I see you in class. <laughs> all right. So when you're doing this drill, all right, I like to do it with my eyes closed. All right. My eyes are closed, and they just yell, gun. I have a person. Oh, and I'm trying to redirect. Right? She can put it on the shoulder, center of the chest, wherever she wants. Gun. Right? And you're making that split second reaction like the next thing might be that trigger pull. I don't want to hesitate. I always say hesitation kills. I didn't say that. Somebody else made that up. They're stealing it. But when you hesitate, you lose in self-defense. I don't want to hesitate. But look, sometimes we mess up. No big deal. I think today I was doing, if you messed up, you had to do two burpees and go again. Oh, you messed up again. Two burpees. Right? Just messing around, but in reality, what I told that class was, at least you're making a decision. Right? And with a little bit of added stress in that Peaceful Warrior class for our advanced students, we even saw some hiccups in the actual gun technique because they were just trying to go a little bit faster when they heard their name and had to try to redirect that line of fire as quick as we could. The other thing we could be thinking of, I don't really have, you know, there's a post back there, but I might have to be making this scenario when the gun is on somebody else. Right? Or it's on me and I have somebody on my right or now you know the, the pole, all right? And I don't want to redirect it at a family member. I would rather take it across the longer point of my body and have it away from a family member versus, boom, redirect it. I think when I learned this one way back, um, I can't even remember what year it was, um, the instructor said, and I wish I could give him credit because I can't remember, uh, it's a crop of divorce, right? If you redirect that line of fire on your husband or wife, all right, you're now doing the crop of divorce, putting them in the line of fire. We don't want to do that. Of course, don't do that. Don't do that. You're not even married yet. You got that nice ring. Don't, don't put them in the line of fire before. So that's redirect the line of fire off their shortest point. You can do it from the back. You can do it from behind, but combining your Krav Maga skills that you've been learning into a quick drill where you're trying to make the right decision in relationship to your body. All right, guys, have a good day.